If you are interested in the upcoming total eclipse, CBS 42 meteorologist Nate Harrington is owning the television market with all the details way ahead in the game. Nate, tell us about it. Yeah, we told you yesterday about the importance of wearing those approved glasses during the eclipse. But what will happen to your eyes if you don't wear those glasses during the eclipse? We spoke to an optometrist at Vision First Eye Center to find out. It's never safe to look directly at the sun, even if it's obscured by clouds. But a lot of people will be looking up during the solar eclipse. If you aren't wearing protective glasses or looking through a solar filter, you could do serious damage to your eyes. So if you look at it for a short period of time, um, it can cause a, 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 an intermittent change to your vision. But if you look at it for an extensive period, then there can be some long-term damage. Dr. Mark McClintock is an optometrist at Vision First Eye Center in Trustville. He says damage can be done to your retina, which is the light-sensitive tissue in the back of your eye. Too much exposure to the sun's rays, short of just a few seconds at a time, can cause swelling, but scarring in blind spots in your vision can result if you look at it for longer periods. Solar eclipses can be especially dangerous since we will all want to watch for as long as possible. When you look at a solar eclipse, there's a lot of darkening, yet you can still get the same amount of radiation, and there's where your damage comes from. And some of the repair mechanisms in your eye, they can take almost a month to a couple of months to heal. So we talked about the bad stuff. Let's talk about the benefits of the eclipse. Coming up at 6, we'll tell you how NASA will study the sun during this historic event. Live in the studio, Nate Harrington, CBS 42 News. It's local eclipse coverage you can count on.